and we live in the Australian rainforest. Julia is an artist and I'm a fashion designer and our work is always inspired by the changing seasons, the fleeting beauty and every moment in nature. This week we're moving back into our cabin in the rainforest. Autumn brings the most abundant fruit and we're celebrating being back in the art studio cabin by cooking a homegrown feast. Oh, God. 
also this time three years ago it was avocado season and I was moving to Melbourne and I was going on plane so I didn't have any I only had carry-on luggage so I tried to fit everything that I had just in my pockets so I wore two trench coats full length trench coats <laughs> filled my pockets with everything I had and I'd been working at a crystal shop for the past 18 months and I had heaps of crystals in my pocket all these avocados mom gave me <laughs> um like statues like on the plane with my two trench coats and I had to like put it all in my lap because I couldn't keep it in my pockets and sit down and everyone was looking at me and that was when I realized I was a hippie kid <laughs> the jackfruit was way too unripe and would take so long to process and we were way too hungry so that's a job for next meal We've been so busy after the floods, so I haven't had time to sew until now, and I'm so excited to create again. The roof and windows leaked in the floods, and all my patterns got soaked in water. I was so worried that I would find that all of my vintage fabrics had gone mouldy, or my patterns had warped, but everything seems to have dried out, and the moment my hand meets my scissors, everything feels normal again. Because I haven't sewn for months, I have so many ideas and projects planned. Today, I'm perfecting a pattern that I've been testing for a while. The process is meditative, perfecting every detail and re-sewing the pattern over and over until I love everything. While I sew, Julia is setting up for a big, exciting painting. It feels so good to be back creating. Our practices have been on hold while we've been so busy repairing damage and working on the farm. But in the process, we forgot how important it is to create, how important it is to pour our emotions onto the canvas or stitch our stories within each seam. We've been so busy, we forget that sometimes to sit still, to create, and to work with the rhythms of ourselves is much more important than anything else. It's funny because when we are so busy with all of the farm work, we always think we need to focus entirely on getting jobs done. But to calm and let our minds and bodies relax lets us be so much more productive.
winter's retreat and summer's planning all the falling leaves and flowers grow where I'm standing Julia is painting and underpainting for something big and exciting. Can you guess what she's painting by looking at the strokes? I'm so excited to see. I'm so happy with how the top turned out. It's always so exciting to try it on when you finish. The music in this video is by Jazzy Whetstone, who we've been friends with since we were toddlers. She also grew up here in the rainforest, and since we were kids, we've always been in awe of her poetic voice and incredible music. She sings about the seasons, the valleys, and life in the rainforest. You can find her links in our description. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe.
And thank you to our patrons for your support always. We are so inspired by you guys. <laughs>